Hey folks, today's how-to video is regarding our Norcold fridge freezer combo. We got a three-quarter fridge on our Sea uh, Ray, and there is a mystery smell coming from this area of the boat. Um, we've disinfected, Lysol sprayed, builds clean. Everything is appears to be. Uh, smell free and this is just a local occurrence it started about a month ago we only notice that when we're uh, sitting without uh, shore power without fans going or anything else like that so it smells like it's coming from behind here so I have the installation owners manual out for this uh, thing and the reason I did that is because I'm trying to figure out how to get everything apart without breaking it of course there's these plastic trim pieces this I think is screwed down to the top I haven't really looked at the thing, uh, the owner's manual, I'm going to get that, uh, look at that in detail in a second. But there's this piece here, and it almost feels like it's uh, two-way taped on, glued on or something. So i got to get those off, that at least, and I'm sure, because um, I'm sure it's screwed to the side of this cabinet, simply because on our previous boat, um, I installed a brand new, new Norcold fridge, a, a smaller compact one, because it was a smaller compactor boat, and there was just uh, two mounting screws on either side, and it just plugged in the back, your 110 and your, uh, your 12 volt. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but there is, this is how this piece fits in there, and you see there's like these little uh, retainer pieces of uh, metal which I guess are all part of this mounting system here. And they just, this piece just snaps over it, like a dot, and it's held in place. I don't know if you can see that, but there's like a little a V groove. There, you can see that there, behind there. So that just, when that goes in, kind of wrap it around, and then snap that V groove over this uh, retainer clip here and that's what holds that in but it, I mean it, it goes in so tight because it's also being held in the backside by this uh, heavy sheet metal so it, it, it goes in behind there and boom and snaps over these spots here so you just got to be really uh, careful at the start don't mind the boat traffic in the background like my last repair job of fixing the uh, toilet seal, we are again on our summer holidays. And uh, we're at a beautiful lock of the Trent Severn Waterway. And obviously that's a gold pass boat. I just gotta show you real quickly where we are. So that's our current home. background noise you hear. Back to work. So you're probably asking yourself, Paul, why are you doing these repairs only and always on your summer holidays? Well, this isn't really a repair. This is more of like a, an annoyance type of affair. And why do I keep this for holidays? Because believe it or not, even on the weekends, we're on the boat a lot, but I'm busy a lot on the boat so doing my boat reviews and articles for eBay and so on and so forth so frankly this is the only time that I have to uh, do stuff like this and I just look back because my lovely wife just came in the boat she's staring at me like who are you talking to and she's leaving now so anyways back to the task at hand there are Three uh, Phillips head screws on this side, just wood screws. And again, I, according to the uh, the diagram, because the written instructions aren't really that clear uh, or full, so it looks by the diagram that this piece stays on with this, meaning I don't have to remove it separately. Ooh, look at that! The whole thing's coming out. Okay, I'm going to remove this lovely carpet that my lovely wife puts down here. Let's see what we got. Put 
probably help to take some of the stuck out of the fridge. <laughs> like all the beer. Okay, this is just, uh, if you're interested, this is what the fridge looks like from the back side. Pretty straightforward. Yeah. It's got to be the fridge. Okay, that's the fridge. And this is uh, the cabinet where that fridge is mounted to. Pretty straightforward. A little bit of insights here. You can see. See, the microwave is above, right? So it's uh, screwed on from underneath. This cabinet here. So that's what holds that in place if you ever want to remove that. Pretty basic stuff. Back of light switches, uh, light fan for the galley. There is the receptacle, the AC receptacle for the fridge. And then we got the uh, well hole connections here for uh, for the fridge as well the DC anyways there is these two vent lines that are running back here in the fridge compartment as well uh, also there is this valve and I don't know what the heck it is for and it's clearly on the uh, on position because it's showing off to go that way obviously if it's in line generally means in a ball valve that it's the operating or the open section but you see there's a little access panel, which is from the cabinet beside. So I guess one would have the option to turn that off because there would be no other reason to get in here. So I'm going to look that up in the owner's manual and see what the heck that is. Uh, just real quick, everything else that's in here is, boop, boop, there is the exhaust fan uh, for the galley. There's the fan itself, just like a small blower fan, it looks like a three inch. And this is access into uh, the master uh, head shower, and that's the, your valve connections. And just real quick, I want to make a note of, uh, you can see that they, when they installed the fridge initially at the factory, they had to hack the shit out of this wood here to get it to go in. And they just left, they left all their debris behind. Which isn't very nice. It's all, uh, you know, it's jammed down inside there. It's, I mean, it just fell and lies where it is. But I have a uh, general contracting business, and uh, that is verboten. You don't do stuff like that. You don't just leave all this crap sitting behind because, first of all, it's messy. It shows that you don't really care. And also, that's what vermin like to live on. Bugs, little fuzzy creatures, and everything else. So best practice is just to sweep it up get rid of it it only takes a couple minutes so I'm going to do that right now and I'm going to look up <coughs> excuse me in the uh, owner's manual uh, get a handle on what these vent lines are for and what the heck that valve does and I will get right back to you on that and clean this up of course too so. yeah, this is all the stuff that I uh, accumulated here from that hack job up there maybe a little bit of cutting around there no that's just all split wood so yeah quite a bit of stuff they left behind it eh? which is surprising because uh all the other nooks and crannies and areas that i poked my uh head into on this boat was nice and neat and clean okay end of this cleaning procedure it appears that this is not the culprit after all <laughs> appears it's coming from uh, under the stairs which is where the salon air conditioner is but we had cleaned in there we're going to take another look at that one anyways the benefit being is that uh, I cleaned a little fan I had a little bit of accumulated dust not too bad clean everything off back here really good nothing too serious clean this whole area out and just uh, got my owner's manual out and discovered that these two lines one is the uh, shower sump discharge and the other one is the uh, forward bilge pump um, as far as the sump for the shower it that sump does uh, 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 what does it do for well, the two uh, the two uh, heads the two sinks the two showers there's a floor drain in that bathroom and that's it now the galley sink used to go in there and have to be pumped out 
overboard because that's on a pump on a float switch and uh, what I did two summers ago or sorry two winters ago was I uh, drilled a big hole in the side of the boat and put that galley drain right out the side so uh, much, that, better. much better no smell in the, the sump or nothing anyways excuse me getting back to this one this is labeled as on the owner's manual at least the uh, shower or sorry the uh, air conditioner discharge and again I thought the uh, the forward one which is under the bed the V-Burr to strain into that sump so this has got to be for this one is it got a clog? I don't know anyways is that why it's noisy sometimes? no oh. this valve I guess it's some sort of like a sy siphon type valve to draw the water up and over and out I don't know I gotta look into that more but that's what all that stuff is so it's nice and clean we're gonna put the fridge back and try to find oh. that other quiet yeah try to find that other uh, smell okay so at least now you uh, know how to remove the fridge and obviously putting it back is just gonna be opposite we're just gonna slide it back into position and then uh, screws back on those little trim pieces and uh, it should be good to go so that's it for this uh, how-to video cheers <laughs>